Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Lahmuding. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at another new note in SketchUp, and the new notes is all under SVG. So we have all these new notes, and it can create SVG document. Okay, so this is actually really powerful notes. There are plenty of notes here. We can try circle. I think the easiest one should be circle field. There's also path and mesh. Okay, it's plenty to try. So let's save this as SVG. This is actually my first time using it. Victor Dorval is responsible for this one. Okay, so this is interesting, interesting notes, and this one is the one that's gonna output the result. Right, so we can start by specifying the output folder path and create a new folder call it svsvg select the files and folder so let's save this very quickly yeah, I think should be correct and then we're gonna Pass in maybe circle SVG for now and it's expecting a center. We're gonna delete everything and we're gonna just hit right. It says unknown locations. Maybe we should do it this way. Okay. Now it should be working if I if I check it out under desktop. We have an SVG. We cannot really view it. Okay, we can see there's an SVG object. Cool. Alright. So let's see if we actually can place this properly. So we have our canvas here and we seem to be placing the circle at the corner. Let me try move this guy a little bit. So I like to be able to view the result actually. In this case, I might actually need to have another circle. Anyway, let's try. Just write it down and look at the update. Okay, see now the circle is moving. I'm gonna change the radius. I'm gonna move it. It's definitely better to have some kind of ideas what's going on. So this is the matrix for our circle. Okay, that's gonna be where the position of our circle is. Let's make the radius two by two for now and then write it down. Look at the result. Okay, it is moving. And maybe if we want to test it out using fill and stroke is our SVG we have fill and stroke let's try this fill color stroke flat stroke oh okay this one has a lot of options fill this with a blue color Okay, let's write it down again. There you go. That's actually the SVG output directly from Notes, which is a uh, really interesting, actually pretty powerful. Uh, here we don't have preview. However, we can create a circle, and this circle can have radius of two. So this. Is, this is what we just created.
ideally we want to be able to see the result I try this live update and open the server it doesn't seem to work on my computer but that should also give you preview maybe we can change this paper size you know try it this way right look at the update close this reopen okay you can see my changes let's do it this way change the color stroke width 0.2 write it down okay we got a result so SVG of course you can file import SVG back into Blender and this is a vector graphic that we bring back into Blender and it's probably too small I'm gonna scale it 100 times there you go that's the SVG does it carry the color maybe it does maybe it doesn't but you have the circle this one should be two by one we don't have the correct preview but you can get the idea what it does um, there's path SVG as well with expecting your vertices you can create try random vector just plug this in it's gonna be flat right it's just plug this here fill and stroke okay let's use the same fill and stroke let's just write it down see what we get <laughs> okay there you go we have something we just need to move it write it down okay it's actually updating on the Mac at least this one is updating scale the randomness write it again it's updating yes with random points how about mesh SVG let's try cricket let's have our cricket here first this faces fill and stroke maybe do the same thing fill and stroke maybe turn off the turn off the stroke and plug this SVG into SVG, SVG object write it down let's wait a few seconds <clears throat> the cricket I believe the cricket okay the cricket works as well you can, you can see here it has to feel let's turn on the stroke now flat color 0 0.05 for the stroke and let's move the cricket a little bit move it to the side write it down that's our cricket I have a feeling that uh, there's something wrong with the canvas here so back to 210 and 295 and write it down Okay, now it moves over there. So let's try scaling it 20 times. Or rather, 5 there. Right. Seems to be smaller.
Okay, it's bigger, but we need to move it up. So. Okay, we get something. So maybe do it this way. Then that's not always happy. So we have our cricket. It's flat and seems to be projected from the top. So let's try transform or let's try transform mesh. And we have our cricket mesh rotate. Or rather actually just use rotate Euler. Safe. So position seems to be okay. Just move it a little bit more. Write it down. So it seems to be rotating a little bit. Hopefully. Yeah, we have our cricket rotating. So that's uh, probably how you you can create SVG out of Blender using stretch of nodes. Actually, that's really powerful if you can actually animate it as well, do things like that. I don't know what this template path for. Maybe there's a documentation, but uh, Victor Dorval is responsible. Is the developer that created this node and maybe check his thread on stretch of github there's a lot of potential here um, would be nicer if there is like a, some kind of svg to vertices and edges maybe there is I can check it out so this is the output this is the dimension yeah, interesting there's a lot of things going on but uh, that's basically in a nutshell what this svg nodes does um, hopefully you can find the use of this. Uh, it's definitely powerful. Uh, generating SVG out of Blender, and uh, it's almost like in real time. So thanks again for tuning in, and let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.